What's going on YouTube? Check out what we just got. Hercules. 12 inch beam cutter that fits onto a regular seven and a quarter inch circular saw. Max depth of 12 inch cuts. So, comes with all the parts. Goes on to either a worm drive or a regular circular saw, seven and a quarter inch. So, looks like this comes with the cutter attachment chain oiling kit which I'm curious because some of the ones on Amazon don't have an oiling kit guide bar and mounting bracket so weighs 4.1 pounds feels pretty heavy duty in the box or the packaging anyway so we're gonna attach this onto my Porter cable circular saw and we are gonna see how this thing does I'm pretty excited about it Reason I'm excited about it is Makita, and I think a couple others make a large circular saw that does a six and a half inch cut, and I'll post something in here, or maybe I'll just post a picture of it. You can see it was a giant circular saw, and I almost bought one of these in an equipment auction a month or two ago, and those circular saws brand new retail for about $950 at the big box uh, tool stores, uh, lumber stores. And this does a 12 inch cut and I think delivered this was, what was it? 75, $85, something like that. I'll post a picture of it somewhere up here. Harbor Freight and it had pretty strong very good reviews so let's put this thing together see what it looks like check it out hmm check that out it's got a little oil reserve tank that's interesting. Let's get our saw and put this bad boy together. All right, came down here to the garage due to the dust of the saw and everything, but step one, current directions is obviously take your current blade off. So there we go, we got the blade locked. Step, we're taking the blade off. Now the first step is putting this mounting bracket on the uh, beam attachment. It's not a lot of indication on what hardware is what, but based on the drawings, this looks like it is the correct screw. So we'll put that on there loosely. All right. I've got all the parts and pieces. I fiddled around for a little bit, reading their very minimal directions. They've tried to get it to fit a bunch of different saws. Looks like all these parts and pieces are if you have a worm drive, which I don't have, so I don't need them. Uh, these are extra uh, arbor bolts to fit different saw makes. So the big issue that I'm having is that it's saying use this inner bushing. And this bushing is supposed to go on here, and then this drops down, and then you use their, their supplied arbor bolt and flange to come in and screw that in. Problem is, when I do all that due to the thickness of the assembly, this arbor bolt is A, too short, and B, it's pushing it up against the base of the saw blade. So, called Harbor Freight. This is a brand new tool. They're like, gee, we don't know. We'll have to get back to you. But... What I also have noticed is that this little this little screw guard right here that keeps uh, the the saw blade from go overextending and then the top side of your blade is exposed when it's resting, this is also pushing it out. So it's a little loose at the moment because I've fiddled with it off camera. But basically what I seem to do, if I take that, see so if you take this little part out, if this were resting there a circular saw here that blade would still be exposed so if you're using it like a normal saw you want to keep that but as i have fiddled with it 
it very much appears if I take that off and then come down here, put this in here, and then hook this up directly without that flange, it appears to fit just about perfectly on there, if I can get it back on. See how I can adjust that angle. So I think I want that to stay you know, about 90 degrees to tighten this up. So let's see if we got this at a 90 to the actual fence. I think we want it right about there. So it doesn't say to do that, but it just seems like that ought to be at a, at a 90 degrees to your... Uh, your fits there. See that gap right there? So I got a good 90 off of the fence. It's not 90 off there. So I think. That's a bit of a fussy setup, but we'll see if it's done right. I couldn't use the inner flange that came with it. All this other stuff is for either different saws or a worm drive saw. I had to take off the blade guard stop. This blade guard that comes around, there's a stop right there. I had to take that out so that this would sit tight up against the housing of the saw. I uh, had to adjust my angle here to get this 90 front to back on the fence, uh, excuse me, the foot. And then I have come in, if you look here, I've had to come in here. I've got this at 90 degrees to my base. But to do that, I actually had to adjust uh, my foot, my base of the saw, by a couple of degrees you can see uh I don't know if you can see this this is zero five ten fifteen so this is at about two degrees that i had to kick this over just a hair so that this would cut true to the fence to the to the uh to the base of the saw there so um it should be square everything should work and now we gotta do is plug it in and see what happens is a little lubrication tank for bar oil i don't know how the bloody heck you're supposed to put that stuff in there though don't believe i've got a funnel to do that i think a syringe would be about the only way hmm so let's we'll figure that out Check it out. All right, we are right at seven three quarters by six and a quarter. This is right at eight and three eighths by four. Yeah, four. And
So you can see just like any chainsaw, it's rough on that edge. It's smooth on the bottom because of the direction of the saw. It's pulling up. So it's pulling up and which means on the bottom it's pulling up here making a smooth cut and then ripping just a little bit it's a good square cut definitely a square cut Hmm. That's a definite cosmetic issue. So you can see here, super fine, good cut. Everything's good and square. Good smooth cut, but on the back side, you definitely got some cosmetic issues right here. So I don't know what I think about that. All right, so what do I think of this thing? It's it's a pretty handy tool. Um, it definitely gets a square cut and everything's nice and plumb and square, so that's really nice. The only real issue is on the back side of the cut, it's pretty rough. So I'm gonna look in and see if there's a finer chain, maybe something that would um, you know clean that up a little bit. But as far as being able to make good square cuts, on a 12 inch beam i think it does the job i'm pretty impressed with it for the price it is how easy it was relatively to set up once i fiddled around and ignore the directions directions are pretty well useless uh, definitely had to go without that bushing to push this out it was hitting up against the base of the saw and the arbor bolt wasn't long enough so once i got rid of that and just kind of intuitively put it together it's pretty darn straightforward so Overall, pretty darn interesting attachment. I'm gonna see how I like it long term, but you know, making a few quick cuts, it's pretty cool actually. It's really, a, I think it's a great way if you're trying to figure out how to make good square cuts on deeper, wider beams, you know, 12 inches, I think this could be your ticket. You just wanna be uh, cognizant of the back side of the cut can be a little rough. So I'm going to experiment with that, see if I can figure out a solution on that. But as far as getting good square cuts on large timbers, uh, this seems to be a lot of bang for the buck. Worst case scenario, I come in with my regular circular saw, make a surface cut, you know, first half inch so that the exterior surface is nice and clean, and then come in with this and cut the thickness of it. If I'm doing it in a place where cosmetics are highly important, if it's more uh, finished grade, if you will, if this is just rough cut lumber on a barn where it doesn't really matter, no big deal. But if I'm doing a high-end pavilion, something like that, where I just don't want to have that rough, jagged look uh, on my cuts, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to figure out a solution for that. But overall, for this price, man, it's a pretty darn cool attachment. Thanks for watching.